It's going to be our focus here at across Dallas, Texas. It's going to be our concern. I-35 south into parts of Waco as we move through the afternoon and evening hours. Tornado potentials a little bit higher out there today. Damaging winds I think is going to be our primary concern and the risk for a tornado or two is certainly there. It's non-zero, uh, but it is, we're, we're looking at a kind of an isolated area here uh, for Dallas, Fort Worth, south into Waco. And of course, the Canna, even uh, areas just to the east there closer to Tyler, Texas. So it's going to initiate along a dry line just rolling off the Cap Rock of West Texas. And that's where we're going to see four or five o'clock this evening, this afternoon or this afternoon, this evening. Some of these storms really starting to come together. But look at how the forecast model just really paints the picture here of a lot of these individual cells kind of merging into a, a big complex a storm. This is what could give us some very, very strong winds into about nine, 10 o'clock this evening on this afternoon, first part of the evening out across eastern Kentucky and Tennessee, back down through North Carolina and also southwestern Virginia. So it's kind of that swath that runs right along this little front. Now here's the forecast for individual cells to start popping later on this afternoon. First part of the evening st could start to get really interesting around say four or five o'clock and this is seven o'clock uh, Roanoke, Virginia back down through Bristol, eastern Tennessee.